Good afternoon, everybody. Today, we are going to be working with SATA to make um, a histogram. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. So let's go ahead and open up SATA. I'm going to use that data set that I like to use that I got from my textbook. So let's start small with a very basic histogram. So it's simple. You just type in histogram and the variable from which you want uh, the system to pull the data in order to make the graph. So you type that in, and there you go. So you have a very basic histogram. So while this is pretty impressive when you first look at it, once you look a little closer, you realize some of it's a little bit off. For example, over here on the Y axis, we have density, which doesn't seem like something super useful. So let's go ahead and fix that. All we're going to do is type histogram hours one and then like I said earlier if you've seen some of the other videos you put a comma and then everything after the comma is just options for the graph so you do histogram hours one and then you can type in percent so you're telling the the program to present the data in a percentage as opposed to density so now you can see that all of our um, data here are presented as a percent overall so um, right here you can see the highest percent we have is a little over 30. Now we fix the y-axis but now if you look at the x-axis these bars are actually broken down into kind of weird numbers right so this bar is you know maybe 18 to 21.5 hours right usually we're not going to measure in 21.5 hours it just seems like an odd number so let's fix that what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my same stem. I still want it to be a percent, but now I'm going to say I want the width of each bar to be five hours, and that, that five has to be put in parentheses. You can make it whatever you want. Five just seemed like a good one for me. So I click that, and then now you can see that these bars are um, a little better spaced, but then it's like we have, what is this, maybe 17 to 22 or something of that nature and again when we did five we're thinking it's probably gonna be zero to five six to ten something like that so the problem is is that stata automatically started with the lowest number which was probably one two three something low but it wasn't zero so it kind of threw off our um, multiples of five so we can fix that as well I'm gonna go histogram hours one percent width Five, and now we're going to put start zero. So you're telling the software to start the x-axis at zero. So we're going to do that. And now that is all fixed, right? So we have, we have zero to five right here, and you can see it's a very low percentage. And then this is 40 to 45, 45 to 50, 50 to 55, 55 to 60, and it's a nice even graph. So it's a lot better than where we started with some very basic um, commands there. Now if you want to get a little fancier and you want to have multiple graphs in order to compare you can put in the same basis but now you can say by right so if you want to do you want to do it by uh, political leanings or by marital status so I'm going to do by sex just because it seems to it's easy to have that dichotomous one press enter and now we have this beautiful beautiful graph here uh, between males and females and we can see that the average is still around the same but there's mu many more females in that average um, much higher percentage of them and then we don't have any males in the 0 to 5 but we do have a few males I'm sorry females in the 0 to 5 so we've created a graph that that is easy enough to use but maybe it's not presenting the information exactly in the way that we want to so now that we have it open we can use the data editor to make it um, a little bit more um, a little easier to read and be able to highlight the information that we want to display so the first one that's kind of popping out to me as something I might not want actually sorry so we got to start this actually click the data editor beautiful and then the first thing that pops out to me is 0 to 50 and then 100 because we can see that the average hours worked is 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that 
and I can suggest number of ticks. So the ticks are just these little dashes here. Um, and let's say you want it to display every 20. Well, 100 divided by 20 is 5, so we want 5 ticks. So I'm going to apply. And then, look, we have 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, so on and so forth. Um, notice, though, because we have two graphs, we actually have to do that twice. So let's come over to this x-axis and do the same exact thing. Apply that. And so we fix that. That's a little bit better to see. And now it's you can more easily highlight that um, 40 is the average number of hours worked, or it's around the average number of hours worked. Um, other things you can do is, you know, simple stuff like play with the colors. So you just click in the back there, and you can make this something easier to look at. That's nice. We can do here, same thing. We can make this kind of a more appealing color, maybe one that's just going to print better. Apply that. Also, what we can do is... Um, change the outline color. Doesn't seem to seem to go with what we we have going on here. Let's see how that looks. Beautiful. So that right there is a pretty good looking graph. So now that you have the graph looking you know, presentable, you might want to you know put on some of those finishing touches. So um, you're going to want to add a title. So you can see I've actually clicked on the background here and this title part popped up for me. If it didn't, I could easily just go graph titles. In fact, let's do it that way. So let's make the title um, hours by gender or something like that. Um, and we can do a subtitle. I'm just going to put by TLV. See, and, and notice how there's note and the notes down here. So um, I think that it's an obvious one to me, so I'm going to erase that note. I'm going to apply. Okay, so once I did that, you can see the title kind of took up some space, and maybe I'm not liking now that these bars are smaller and they're kind of harder to read. So I can change the aspect ratio. So zero is where it defaults. So if you go up on your aspect ratio, you can see that the graphs themselves get a little bit smaller and the text around is a little bigger, and vice versa. If you go down a little bit, you can see that, oh, sorry, yeah, you can see that this one's getting smaller. Let's go up to 2, and you can see how that's working. Um, I think I liked it at 0, but I just wanted to give you ooh, just give you those options there for, um, for your graph. And so um, you can save this however you want, but you know we're not going to save it because we don't need it. And remember that all of this can also be done if you go up into the graphics, histogram, and same thing like we did. So remember how we, we typed in histogram, that's what we did in the graphics. Hours 1 was our variable, so you can just do that right there. And then when we are talking about the percent, it says over here on the y-axis how you want it to present. So we're going to click percent, and same thing, width of the bins, we said it was 5, we said the lower limit was 0. And um, you can add height labels as well. And actually, you know, we didn't go over that func that command, so that command is just add labels. And then you can submit. I'm going to cancel since we already know how to do it. But I do want to show you if you want to add labels inside the command over here, you just write simple enough add label, and you can see that they pop up on top there. So that's a quick overview of um, how to create a histogram that fits your purposes, and I hope you found today's tutorial helpful. Thanks. Have a good one.